and I'm on holidays in Lisbon somewhere on a beach drinking. So unfortunately, there won't be our normal 365 colony today or 395 colony. Instead, I've got some old footage lying around that I made up last Christmas, I believe. I had a, an Australia tile and this Australia tile was covered in, well, it was covered in a lot of bugs. Just so many bugs. Why well, we called it Australia. And then we spawned in a whole bunch of attack raids on it, just to see what kind of carnage would ensue. Uh, you know what? That, 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 that's enough. I'll let Past Francis explain it all to you now. And we're back with some more Rimworld. And today is not an episode or anything. Today is a fun day, because today we're going to be taking an old save and just playing around with it. What we have here is an enormous amount of gold. And you might notice, if we check out the map in the top right, that the map looks a little bit interesting up there. There's a lot of stuff going on. That's because... We may have used the debug tool to generate an enormous amount of quests. I have maybe accepted a few of those quests, and those quests are all going to show up with angry people looking to kill whatever's on the tile. At the same time, I may have accidentally spawned about 20 attack raids on this Australia tile full of bugs, and now we get to see what happens when the game has to try and render, oh, I don't know, like 20 incoming raids plus 30 incoming quests, and wow, that's, oh, that goes so slow. Though this should result in an awful lot of chaos and at least give us something entertaining for our Christmas time. Oh my god! Yeah, that, that I don't think that Mega Spider is going to make it very far, especially with that. Even bows and arrows are ticked down a Mega Spider with that many of them going on. Yep. I may have, may have gone a little bit overboard on the raids and stuff. I think my computer is screaming just a teeny weensy bit. Over here we have some. Scythers uh, that have got involved in a little bit of a tiff with a bunch of humans. What what even are these guys? These are the enemy berserkers of I'm gonna say Pact of Toxos. No, the Borakin League. Uh, these ones over here are Pact of Toxos. Okay, so those guys are enemies with those guys. Damn it, we need some sort of color coding to indicate which ones are enemies with which, because to us they just all look red because they're all trying to kill anything we might potentially have. However, we have also spawned a bunch of walls in here to see who goes for the gold. That is the prize that everyone is supposed to be fighting for. Whether or not they- oh my god. Whether or not they care about that prize is another thing, but there's no 21 centipedes on the field, along with 39 scythers. Uh, but that's okay, there's like 30 mega spiders over here. Uh, 76 humans, and oh look, there's a shield. Okay, I don't know what that is, but they're asleep. Guys, guys, wake up. Wake up. You know what, we'll, we'll put down a sleeping spot right about there. No, how about there? There? I will put it under you, literally. Okay, there they go, they've woken up. Uh, over here, oh god. Sorry, we've used it. Ah, oh, stop that map. Yeah, that's not going to go well for the tribes people. They're just about to take on 22 centipedes, 21 centipedes. Yeah, I think I'll watch this for a little bit. Well, entertaining as it was, watching centipedes slaughter everyone, I, I'm trying to figure out what I missed over here because there is just a field of corpses. Dear lord, what happened over here? <laughs> I'm trying to intersperse sped up parts of this because my computer is of course crying at all of the things trying to kill each other simultaneously. There, there has to be at least several hundred enemies currently at the moment on this. We set you to enemies. 1,190. Well, okay, it's dropping rapidly. They are murdering each other so efficiently. But dear lord, I think this is the Empire. Yeah, oh, elite mercenaries of the... Okay, so that's pirates versus tribes people. That would explain the absolute carnage. Oh, and if we're looking for even more carnage, you can check over here and see that there's a whole bunch of mechanoids that just slaughtered... You know what, I, I don't know what they were, but whatever they were, they're very, very dead. They are now trundling this direction towards what looks like a bunch of tribes people who were fighting other tribes people. Uh, over here, some tribes people fought other tribes people. They're also wiping out some bugs. Oh, there's bugs left. Wow, okay, the mega spiders didn't completely die. Oh, wow, there is quite a few bugs left. They're about to get tied in with those, uh... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go so well for... Actually, either of them. They should pretty much murder each other. I think what makes the, the mechanoid so 
dangerous is just their, their incendiary rounds set everything on fire and no one can get into close range to melee them. And if anyone tries to stay at long range, they just end up getting set on fire. They're burning down whole chunks of the map over here and they're completely immune to it, so they don't even care. Uh, who's left alive? Oh yeah, fleeing, fleeing, uh, leaving trails of corpses and blood everywhere. <laughs> In case there anyone's still good. Oh, a bunch of sen mechanoids that actually lost scythers. Well, yeah, that kind of makes sense. They're not exactly nearly as tough. And oh my god, who are they shooting at? Angus. Angus is pretty tough. Got to give it to them. Yeah, well, Angus is finally down. All right, that's them all done. Uh, over here, we've got a bunch of tribe people slowly crawling towards the center. The gold is still very safe. Uh, and over here, yeah, the bugs. They're putting up a valiant fight, but realistically the fire is what's killing them. They can't get close enough to melee for very long without getting set on fire. And then once they're set on fire, they're pretty much useless. Oh, now we get to see more tribespeople slaughtered by, well, a whole bunch of centipedes. This is just mean, but once it starts raining, that might actually work against the, the mechanoids. Yeah, that, that fight did not last very long. It turns out getting uh, hammered by flamethrowers just has a tendency to... Or, Fire blasters, whatever they are, has a tendency to make tribes people run a lot. Those inferno cannons are just a nightmare. Uh, over here, yeah, more people fleeing from the mechanoids. Over here, giant flaming fireball while the mechanoids squander down here. Oh, freeholder title gain for index, nice. Uh, yeah, nothing but piles of corpses. There's a whole bunch of humans down here, and they are eventually going to run into those mechanoids. I'm interested to see what happens when they meet. Oh, would you look at that? More a raid from the Pact of Toxos again. Yeah, it seems they've run into some se some uh, mechanoids and centipedes. Not going very well for them. Looking at the map, there is almost nothing left alive. There's just piles of corpses everywhere. The amount of enemies has dropped to 428, and how many of those are actually just unconscious? The uh, the centipedes are basically proving their worth by just mowing everything down. I think what's really helping them, though, is the infernal cannons. Setting fire to everything, you know, makes it really difficult for enemies to attack you, especially when your units are completely unaffected by fire and can just waltz through it without caring. If they got rid of the uh, the fire immunity of mechanoids, I think it would make them much, much weaker. Or easier to deal with. Though maybe maybe that'd be a bad thing. Yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what future raids have in store, because I'm pretty sure everything that's left on the map is just going to get killed by mechanoids right about now. Though on the bright side, with most of the people dead, it's actually the game's starting to speed up again. We're gonna have 357 enemies. Nice! Oh! A centipede actually died. How many are still left to actually... Damn, a few of them are quite injured over here. Fair enough, fair enough. Unfortunately, these tribes people couldn't take the constant bombardment, so they have decided to flee. Though judging by that lag, we're about to see something else. It's another raid by the Pact of Toxos. Well, let's see how many they sent this time. Is it enough? You've got... Oh, 38 over there? That's not going to be enough at all at all. What have we got over here? 27? Are you... I'm sorry, guys, there's just no way. And you guys just spawned in amongst a bunch of fire. I'm afraid all of you are just going to have really bad days and die, because there's no one taking out the centipedes or what you've got left. Maybe these guys can take out one or two, because there's not that many there, but uh, that's about the only hope I hold out so far until reinforcements arrive. Oh, that is just mean. Seriously, like, who would waltz into that? Y you see that out in the field of combat? There is no way I'm going near that. I'm like, no, 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 no. We need a kill box. We need magic. We need something. There's no way you go up against that. This is the kind of raids that wipe out entire bases, and just trying to take them in open combat in the field is just insta-death. Uh, I don't know what these ones are doing. They just, these people just ran past a whole bunch of centipedes. They could have taken out, but they just seem to be running up here to what? I attack what used to be the base? I, I'm not sure anymore. 
Though they're going to have to navigate their way through a place that's completely on fire. Yeah, there's a quest. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Anyway, there's still a whole bunch of quests that need to come in, so we've got about another 20 reinforcement ra waves. Let's skip forward a bit and see what the future holds. The tribes people appear to almost be going for the gold stash, but yeah, they ran into some troubles along the way. I don't see them escaping, especially considering the retreat path is now blocked by all of this stuff. Like, I think, yep, there's, there's literally mechanoids coming from all directions to surround them. I don't see them getting out of this anytime soon. And, oh, a raid from the pirates. All right, so pirates are showing up. This might be interesting, because the pirates could contain some decent weaponry. Some triple rocket launchers. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, we got 33 of them there. We got another 38 of them there. Oh, explosives, everything. Yes, yes, this, this should be good. And assuming they run right into the centipedes, we should get ourselves a good fight. The one thing I worry about is that they're just going to run past them. Sometimes they ignore the enemies. No, no. Yeah, I, I don't even see that centipede surviving that. There is no way. Uh, yeah, dead as a doornail. Where are the others? Yep, they're over here. We're, we're finally going to see some centipedes get their asses handed to them. I will admit that feels very good. Wow, you can see one group coming in from here, a second group from here, a third group from here, and just an army of centipedes, though this is going to screw them. There's actually a shield there. That's going to mean everyone who attacks from this side is, is pretty much dead. They're going to keep hitting the shield instead of the enemies. Oh, and those two centipedes finally went down. It's it's just nice to see the mechanoids get a beating. They've killed so many bases, it's just nice to see them die. And what's going on over here? Oh, Retreater's getting caught out. Oh, what? We haven't even started in on those. Well, there goes the pirates. They did a good job. They, they killed a few. I mean, there's definitely some more mechanoid corpses on the field after them. And we got seven centipede corpses, dear lord. All right, uh, I think we're gonna have to wait for the next crowd to show up. We're down to 113 enemies, and most of those I think are just the mechanoids and unconscious pirates. Oh, would you look at that, it's another raid from the pirates, and oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, 198 pirates. Okay, they might actually stand a chance of doing something, and now that it's raining, it's going to put out all the fires. Though, that's an awful lot of centipedes. 100, 198 pirates versus... Nope, that's 200 various, wait, uh, versus 35 centipedes, and I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff in here. Actually, I think all the smaller units have just been killed. Oh, there's a the lancer. Seven lancers and a few pikemen. Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually going to bet on the pirates. I mean, normally I'd bet on, on the mechanoids just, just about any situation, but they have a lot of weaponry. Like, just a lot. That's how many doomsdays they have. So long as they don't accidentally shoot each other, which, okay, they're going to shoot a little bit of each other. And only one, in, one smoke launcher. Uh, yeah, that's fine. How many triple rockets? Yeah, I think they'll do some damage. I really do think they will. All right, let's uh, let, let's see what the future has in store for these pirates. Ooh, a centipede decided to show up on this side. Ow! Yeah, I think we burned a whole bunch of doomsdays on that one. Oh my god! I think that thing just ate every single high-powered munition they had. Um, yeah, there's there's no doomsdays left. No triple rockets. It literally ate all of their high-end firepower. There's now just a bunch of people using their fists because they spent their triple rockets in doomsdays. That was a good sacrifice. Oh my god, it's literally vaporized. They vaporized the corpse. Well, it's a pity. They, it really would have been nice if they had kept some of that firepower for what's coming their way. Because these guys, yeah, they look real angry. Uh, I'm going to change my bet. Yeah, I'm going to go with the mechanoids again. And it starts. First comes the Lancers. They're going to get absolutely slaughtered. Yeah, standing out in the open, no cover, insta-death with that kind of low hit points. The injured ones are more likely to survive longer because they're further back and it takes them longer to get close enough. Come on. Oh, wow. 
It almost looks like, yeah, we're going to hide around this rock and sneak up on you. What I love is how their shields here are actually messing themselves up because anyone trying to shoot through this shield keeps clipping the edges of it and it's cutting down on their firepower. From, since I clicked on the centipedes, they've only managed to kill one. Like, there's 36 centipedes, there used to be 37. Just, ugh. Though they have managed to kill a lot of walls. They've stripped out an awful lot of walls on the top and bottom there just from the sheer amount of stray firepower getting fired about the place. And, yeah, you go, Mac. Mac is up there, what are you equipped with? With a bio-coated pistol and he's punching. Yep, they're literally punching a centipede. Gotta give it to him, that's pretty hardcore. Uh, down to 34 centipedes, so they've killed two more centipedes. This is not going to go well for them. Oh! What's happening over here? Okay, so there's a, uh, a siege from the pirates, and then the Pact of Toxus showed up. So, a little group of them? Yeah, and then they immediately got slaughtered. Oh my god. Yeah, you came to the wrong place. I wonder how those pirates are going to do. Are they going to start shelling the centipedes, or are they just uh, going to start shelling their own people? How many uh, How many centipedes have we got left? 31. Okay, the pirates did it pretty well, but considering there was almost 200 of them, this seems uh, like they probably could have done better. I can't believe how much damage they're doing. They're actually killing the centipedes. They're down to 13 from what, 37? I think they're still gonna break before they get through all of them, or maybe not. What's this? Oh no, tribes people. They're gonna get flanked by tribes people. They might have actually done it if it wasn't for the tribes people showing up. Still a hell of an effort. I don't think the mechanoids are gonna be dominant on this map in a minute. I think, I think it's gonna be a free for all. Yeah, the pirates eventually broke. Though they killed a lot of centipedes. Now let's see how the tribes people do against the remaining centipedes. There's only 11 of them, guys. <laughs> They're gonna get slaughtered. I don't think tribes people have the, uh, the armor pierce to deal with centipedes, just even a little bit. Though, what's this? There's a bunch more of them over here, though. They're probably gonna get aggroed, aggroed by these pirates and their, uh, their mortars. I think they've been mortaring them. And it stopped raining, so all of these fires are going to cause the tribes people to have a really, really bad day. Every time a raid starts to spawn, my computer just cries just a little bit. And oh yes. Oh, this has got to be the death of the centipedes. Come on. There's only 10 centipedes left and this looks like a giant pirate raid. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yes. Oh yes. 172? Yes, that will do. And they've got doomsdays and such like on them, so this should quickly turn into an absolute glorious mess. Yeah, that's a doomsday. Oh, that was a triple rocket, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. oh s friendly fire! Friendly fire! <laughs> yeah, that's the pirates, alright. Damn it, I can't... I, it's too hard to move the map around that way. You're actually better off clicking on the, the mini-map up here to get things sorted. Uh, how, many, how many centipedes left? We're looking at about 8 centipedes and about 170 angry pirates and some tribals that are going to get slaughtered. Well, I think the pirates are currently in control of this map. They've got pretty much everyone dead, so where are these ones going? I thought they were coming up here to steal the gold, finally. Someone has to claim the gold. That's who wins. And they just seem to be... Oh, they're wandering over to where the old base was. You know what? Maybe time to remove some of the zones and stuff here so that uh, they maybe don't keep coming here. Oh, there is no zones anymore. Never mind. Oh, roof area. That can all go. Get rid of all the stockpiles and everything. Hopefully they'll get on with their day and go down and fight the centipedes. Oh, these ones are going down here to kill this base. And the game's lagging again, which makes me think something else is about to spawn. 
If it's more pirates, eh, that just means they're going to dominate even more. If it's someone else, they're going to have to have a fight with the pirates. Anytime now? Anytime? Jesus. Yeah, my computer is crying a little bit on this map. 13 frames per second. This is not good. Oh wait, here they come. It's a siege from the landmine pirates. Yeah, that's that's more. Mech cluster buildings have been defeated. That's great. Uh, then there's... Oh my sweet Jesus. 183 human pirates fully equipped to the gills. Yeah, I'm not sure anyone can take them out now. There's just too many. There's 180 over there. Probably another 200 or plus between the remaining ones from the siege. And... Yeah, we'll just have to see if they go for the gold. That's an idea. We'll make this a home zone. Right? They, they gotta, like, that's gotta be candy to them. Oh, they found some centipedes. Right, yeah, there was these crowd left. They never actually finished them off. Well, they can finish those off, then they can go claim the gold. Oh, even more pirates. How wonderful. Jesus. Get rid of these. <laughs> Uh, does, does, is anyone going to be... I don't think anyone can take out the pirates now. Unless, like, massive mech siege shows up, I don't think anyone can take the pirates out. My computer just hung for about three minutes there, maybe four. And we've got... Oh, wow. We got a... That's a, a raid from the pirates. Then that's another raid from the pirates. And we've got... More pirates. Oh wow, that's a lot of pirates. What the hell? They seem to be spawning out of nothing. It's like the thing's bugged out. Okay. That's... That's going to be a lot more pirates. I don't think anyone's going to be able to take the pirates now. Enemies-wise, we're looking at 858 and they're all pirates? Well, um... Good, good luck, I suppose. Oh, damn it. Sorry, the map's taken over again. I... I think we'll just have to wait until they take care of these. There was a, a few Lancers spawned out of here. Oh, what the? Is that a mortar? Oh, wow, they set up a mortar over here. Very well. Okay, so they set up a mortar and they're going to start shelling them. There's over 200 pirates in this corner alone. Once they're finished with this, I imagine, though, they will claim the gold. They are pirates. They, they're going to want the gold, right? With all of the uh, enemies they're dead, they've finally decided to claim the gold. I don't think anyone can stop them now. And I think we have, yeah, another siege. That's, um, that's great. So, <laughs> oh my god. Why is there so many pirates? I swear, I just did a bunch of random quests and I just accepted all of them. And now there's just nothing but pirates showing up. Oh wait, it's a raid from the Pact of Tox. <laughs> oh my god. So a bunch of tribals have shown up. There's a tiny one over there and there's a tiny one over there. <laughs> Ah, yeah, they're they're not going to... Oh, no. Mortar shells. Are they mortaring the... Stop mortaring yourself, you idiots. Well, it turns out they've got distracted from that and they're going to start uh, killing the packs of Toxos. In fact, I think we should spawn another mechanoid raid. Uh, there's too many pirates. It's not fair anymore. That is going to be some very dead tribals very quickly. There's 36 of them. They're outnumbered absolutely... Oh, ow. By a lot. Did that guy just fire it? Yeah, the pirates do have a tendency to friendly fire themselves quite a bit. Okay, what does that leave, though? I think we're just going to have to spawn in a mechanoid raid just to give them some fun. But I think we let them claim the gold first. They've almost broken through to the gold. I mean, come on. They, they paid the price. We should let them raid the gold. Plus, you know, pirates raiding gold, it seems very normal. Pirates seem to be trying to shell the base while it's being constantly attacked by their own people. I mean, <laughs> good effort, I suppose, <laughs> or just a complete disregard for your own people. Since the pirates were having such a hard time getting through the walls, I decided we did construct the plasteel walls. This was their only real way in anyway. And also they were accidentally shelling on themselves. I've decided to open it up for them. But we can't just make it that easy. There's some uh, a raid from the Pact of Toxos has showed up. They're going to get absolutely slaughtered. But I think we should, if they've got free access to this gold now, they should have to fight for it. So we're going to summon in a mechanoid raid and see how they deal with it. While I was going to go with a bunch of centipedes and mechanoids, I decided, you know what? 
let's summon in the Green Empire, because we're friendly with them, so they'll show up on the map in blue, which makes this easier to look at. So right here we have 102, and over there we have 98. In fact, we have exactly 200 of the Emperor's Finest, versus uh, a lot of enemies, like an awful, awful, awful lot of enemies, like 900 and something. I don't think the Emperor's Finest are going to be able to manage it, but you know what? We'll let them at it. There's a, a bunch of tribals here, sandwiches in the middle, who are between an awful lot of angry pirates and an awful lot of the angry emperor's troops. This should get... Uh, oh, it should get devastating pretty quickly. Those deployed shields are definitely a big boon for the pirates. They're managing to soak up a whole bunch of damage early on, and that gives them the early edge. And uh, down here, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but there's no shields deployed by the pirates. Maybe they've already expended their shields on a previous engagement, which is why they're not doing nearly so well. Also, there's an awful lot less of them. Which is the Empire down here are doing fine. But uh, up here, they are getting their butts handed to them. Like, just so badly. You gotta give it to them. They're pretty damn tough. I think it's just the, the pirates bringing all those shields makes such a huge difference to an open field com open combat fight like this. Definitely going to be using shields an awful lot more. Like, there you go, again, a whole bunch of people protected from damage. Well, that's half the Emperor's finest gone. That just leaves this squad. How many of them are left? There's 81. Actually, it's a pretty decent number of them. But they've got to deal with, well, this many pirates, which is, damn it, that's the Rebel Mills, 191 of those, and, ah, damn it, the maps keep playing silly buggers again. And uh, this over here is going to be about another 199 again, is it? 181. Yeah, that's that's not going to work very well for them. Oh, look, more Prezies. It, it turns out a bunch of these are, a bunch of these are quests, so what do we get? Lysiferium, uh, some Hyperweave, and Psychic Animal Pulsar. Well, that's great. Oh, funny we could activate that. You know what? No, no, it's fine. We're going to see what happens when the Empire here decides to engage the second group of pirates. There is a big, long string of pirates heading down here. I don't think those pirates are going to have a good day, though, because they're about to run into a much more clumped group of uh, royalty. Oh, and there goes those shields again. Those shields are so good. I didn't realize that the royals never brought shields with them. It makes them far less annoying to deal with. The pirates, though, those shields are just crippling. Like, like, these guys are doing almost no damage and won't until that shield degrades. That shield's got, what, 30 seconds on them? Oh, that is just... And the moment you take those down, you know one or two more are going to have shields. Like, that one's got a shield as well. So, oh, there comes another shield. They're just going to get ground down, because by the time those shields wear off, their numbers will have been so depleted. On the bright side, people standing back here to shoot are clipping those shields, which means they are getting some protection themselves, but only is... Oh my god! Oh, Richards, you're too kind. Richard came forward and dropped them their own shield. Well, it looks like no one can take out the pirates. They're just too good. All of those shields, everything like that. Uh, well, we still have to throw mechanoids at them. Let's see what that does. We have summoned in two mechanoid raids. We've got one up here, which is 66 scythers, which, yes. Oh, damn it, map's done. City buggers again. And down here we've got 16 centipedes, seven scythers, and a bunch of lancers, which... Let's see how they do against 70 human pirates. Oh, God, what the hell was that? That was an awful lot of damage. Oh, wow! That was... That was an awful lot of Doomsday rockets that just hit them and triple rocket launchers all at once. Also, over here we seem to be having something going on, though I have no idea what it is. Uh, what are they even shooting at? Oh, some tribals showed up, did they? Yeah, ne never mind. 
yeah, that did not go well for the tribals. But down here, that was an awful lot of firepower thrown at those centipedes. And they're all still... <laughs> oh my god! And the centipedes, though, are still alive. I mean, the centipedes ate all of that in the face and were like, Is that all you got? Now we're just gonna shoot you. Alright, this, this, I don't get, that is so many tribals, that's, that's like, what, 400 or something stupid? What are they even doing? And there's a whole bunch of pirates waiting for them, but the pirates are confused too. I think everyone's confused. <laughs> oh, is that a triple? I think that's a triple rocket, that means there's going to be a lot of dead people there in a second. Where are they hitting? Ow. Yeah, the game does not like that. Ow. Oh my god. Well, I think that triple rocket launcher paid for itself and that it just cored out this entire area and there's no, no more tribals existing. Okay then, uh, do the tribals actually notice? No, no, they don't seem to care. Well then, uh, we'll just uh, have a quick check back on how the centipedes are doing. There's still 15 of them, I imagine. Yeah, they're, they're barely noticing anyone touching them. And over here, the game is uh, crying. Yes, it is crying from all of these the confrontations it has to do. The pirates over here have managed to drive off the tribals. Uh, they seem to be, well, pretty badly injured after all of that. And now they've got to deal with a big stream of scythers. That's 63 scythers, but they're, they're streaming in. Maybe they can do something about it, though. Hmm, yeah, I, I don't think after that enormous fight, that was an insane amount of killing right there. There's just a ludicrous amount of corpses on the ground. I don't think they've got the firepower left to take these out. Plus, they're not smart enough to stick back and their shields are not going to help them out in this situation. Yeah, I don't see this going well. How many have we got? 42 Scythers on the screen so far. 50. Oh, there's more at the rear. You know, I don't think there's any end to this. We could keep going on like this forever, just watching them murder each other, but I, I think no. I think there's more than... Oh, damn it. I think there's more than enough footage for the day and... Oh, wait, wait. Yep. Oh! Ow. I think maybe they can kill a centipede or two. How many is there? 14 centipedes there? There used to be 15, so they've already killed one. And what's over here? Oh, that's uh, some tribals have shown up. They're not going to help out. Pirates, I'm afraid you're on your own. Well, would you look at that? Our caravan has been just sitting around doing nothing and, well, okay, we might as well have a little bit of fun here. Eh, why not? Hey, we're going to have a little bit of fun taking out 112 humans. What kind of overdrives have we got going on? We've got a bunch of doomsdays. Let's have a little bit of fun with our pirate friends. I didn't think today was going to be a learning experience, but it turns out your people can meditate on the road. So I thought we were going to be out of side focus, but just about everyone's focused up, except for Pinky. Why is Pinky... Oh, they were... Uh, they used... Where is it? They've got Fire Skip, so we use Fire Skip, that's why. But everyone else is all topped up on Psy Focus. Oh, that means we're going to Berserk Pulse them. We're gonna... mm -hmm. Just one moment. We're going to pull our animals back a little bit. And we're going to have Thumb jump forward. Thumb's job is to uh, use their Berserk Pulse to slow down the enemy while we get a few fun toys out and running. Damn, I do love that jump jet pack. And let's see, where else are we going to skip them? Eh, we're going to jump them over this side. We're going to jump them over this side, berserk a bunch of them. And then after that, I'm thinking... 
yeah, we should use all of our toys. We've got a mech cluster targeter, a tornado generator, an orbital bombardment targeter, and three doomsdays. Let's see how long it takes before they all die. We'll, we'll leave the doomsdays behind for now, and we'll have Thumb cast a quick berserk pulse. Yeah, that should slow them down enough. And then while they're busy beating the snot out of each other, we'll bring our people up to do some murderage. Um, what am I thinking here? Yeah, let's grab the... I think the orbital mech targeter. I've never used one of those before. I'm really interested to see what that will do. You, over there. The rest of you, come on. You're too slow. Why is Pinky so slow? Oh, Pinky's got food poisoning, haven't they? All right, let's see what toys you've got to play with. Well, the first thing we're going to drop is the orbital mech cluster targeter. I've never used one of these before, and I really want to see what it does. So, yeah, let's put that right about there. How long does that take to aim up? Oh, that's taking a while. Come on. Come on. Okay, game does not like that at all. You've got to understand, the Australia style is still very active right now. And my game is hung. After much hanging, the game finally decided to... Uh, do whatever it was going to do. Oh, and we might want to get someone else set up for uh, a little bit of fun. Where else have we got something good here? Well, let's see what this mech cluster is. Um, jeez, okay, that's a lot of drop pods. Um, well, that's interesting. Doesn't seem to be active, though. Dormant? Why is it dormant? Oh, I know a quick way to fix that dormancy thing. And let's just throw a few structures around here. I'm sure they will love that. Yep, they've activated. Okay, with them activated, Pinky, what are you doing? Oh, Pinky's not feeling the May West, are they? Uh, you know what, Pinky? Why don't you skip yourself over there and have a word with them? Uh, Index, what are you doing over here? You are coming over here to pick up the tornado generator. That was it. We forgot to load up the tornado generator. And you over here, I think it was time we did an orbital bombardment. An orbital bombardment dropped right about there should cause an interesting amount of damage. Ow. Ow. Ooh, and a centipede spawned right in the middle of them. Oh, they have a shield. I wonder what that'll do against an orbital bombardment. I have no idea. Does it stop orbital bombardments? I don't know. Oh, no, it does not stop orbital bombardments. They go right through the shield. Oh, God. Uh, we should probably get our people out of danger. You know what? It doesn't matter. This is just a bit of fun. Oh, my God. Ow. 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 <laughs> yeah, no, this was the perfect way to end it. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to use the tornado generator. That's not fair. Oh, Pinky's unconscious. What the hell? God, you oh, Muppets. Where's our other guy? We have a tornado generator, so we're just gonna chuck one there and see what it does, because I've never actually used a tornado generator, and I'm kind of curious to see. And, oh yeah, by the time it activates, the enemy will be gone more than... Oh, wow. No? That works. What kind of damage does that do? Bruise, crack. Ow, ow. That is pretty devastating. But then it's off the map. Okay, fair enough. Good to know. And I think we'll cut it out there for today. This was just a, an alternative version where things went absolutely mental and we got to try out all our fun toys. But I'm pretty sure that means we can exit this battleground, does it? Oh no, I don't think we can exit until we kill off all of the units we summoned. I don't think they ever expected anyone to summon in a bunch of, uh, well, mechanoids into a, an ambush. So these things are actually going to be a pain in the butt to kill. But, eh, at least it was a fun day. Anyway, I hope you had a, a good Christmas, uh, wish you a happy New Year's, and uh, hope you enjoyed our little, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, it's sort of like a little John Wick presentation where it's nothing but action all day. Anyway, good luck.